years was Mr. Glenn Manderville. And also while I was there, um, a gentleman by the name of Jim Jones was an assistant principal. His daughter is here tonight. Wave, Judy. <laughs> I think a principal was Mr. Knox Tucker and then Mr. Walter Day. The three of these gentlemen are deceased, Manderville, Tucker, and Day. Next came Mr. Roy Hudson. Then came George Mitchell. Then, like I said, he got here as quick as he could. Mr. Walter Dansby next. Then came Johnny Kennard. Then, here and in person this evening is Mr. Gerald Batty. Would you stand, please, sir? Thank you so much for doing the honor of actually being here with us tonight. We appreciate that, and we're happy to meet you. Next is Mr. Eugene Toms. He is here tonight. Would you stand, sir? Very glad to have Mr. Toms. We appreciate you coming tonight, and we do honor you as being one of the former principals. Thank you. That would be why. Uh, Mr. Dansby, of course, like it says in theirs, from 1991 to 95. Mr. Batty, I had you down from seven, 1997, 1998. Is that about right? And then Mr. Toms, 98 to 2000. All you guys right in the road, just about. Next is Mr. Uh, Terry Bowie. Then came Stephen Johnson. Then Lewis Washington. And then Dr. Mario Lane got here as fast as he could, too. So we're, we're happy to have him. He's not a former principal, but I did want to add him in the list there of the principals. We do have a few former faculty members. I know we have some former coaches, actually. We have Karen Garrett. Would you stand, please? Tell us what you coached and what you taught while you're standing, please. I taught physical education and I coached basketball. Thank you. <laughs> you got your chairs brought over there with you. Thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate that. And over at the OC table, original chat table, table, we have Mr. Ted Harris, Coach Ted Harris. Would you stand, please? <laughs> and what you taught at Wyatt. I coached uh, baseball, I coached football, started my career at O.D. Wyatt, third year career. And, um, what was the next question? <laughs> <laughs> Did you oh, teach math. a subject? I, I, I taught math. Okay. Job security. Job security. <laughs> <laughs> and, next is Coach Bill Mann. Would you stand, please, and tell us what you coached and what you taught. I didn't, I didn't know that. I thought I was going to like it. 
Thank you. Have I overlooked any former principals? We did expect three more, but I haven't seen them this evening. Okay. Have I overlooked any former faculty? Okay. okay, at this time we're going to have why it's present, and that is Dr. Mario Lane, ODY High School. Um, very excited to be the current principal at ODY High School. Um, and I, I'm glad that the alumni took the opportunity to honor Dr. Sims and also honor Coach Chris, uh, because uh, one of the things I realized as soon as I got to Y is that we're standing on the, the shoulders of giants, right? You heard uh, what uh, Dr. Dansby uh, talked about, um, all the great accolades that Y had, and so you realize that Y High School truly is a gem hidden treasure um, in Fort Worth ISD. And when I came to Wyatt, one of the first things I wanted to do was to reach out to the Alumni Association. All right? I got a chance to meet uh, people that had opened the school. Got a chance to meet folks that had been there for many years and many generations and hear the stories about all the great things that were going on at ODY High School. And that really inspired me because uh, I think that that allowed me to figure out what the blueprint was. If you ever um, look on Facebook page, I talk a lot about uh, if you think you know why and our kids, think again. Why it's on the move. Why it's on the move. And I think that those words really describe uh, where we are right now. Um, if you think you know why, think again. Why it's on the move. How are we on the move? Well, first of all, one of the big things that's going on right now at ODY High School is that we have an early collegiate academy. Collegiate Academy at ODY High School. And the Dean of Students is right here, Kwanda College. Would you wave, Kwanda College? Uh, very excited about that. I know, as um, um, mentioned earlier, about how Wyatt grew from 1,000 students to 1,700 students. We're excited about that because that gives us an opportunity to recruit our own kids. Right? We're losing our, several of our kids. Sorry, great. We're losing several of our kids to um, other middle schools. And so the Early Collegiate Academy gives us an opportunity to get back at those kids. Uh, right now we have, I think, 71 kids that signed up in freshmen, correct? Yes. And how many uh, sophomores? 50. 50. 50 sophomores, 18 juniors, and 12 seniors. Wow, wow. And all of those kids, um, especially the freshmen and sophomores, will have an opportunity to earn 60 credits and have their associate's degree by the time they graduate from ODY High School. That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> about that. We're excited about the work that they're doing. Um, that's a huge, huge benefit for us. And obviously, um, our teachers are working extremely hard. Um, they're pushing our kids. You know, why it's changed a whole lot since y'all were there, right? Uh, I know, uh, as I said, Dr. Dansby mentioned earlier um, how why it's changed so much since he was there, right? And now, why high school is majority Hispanic. Now, why high school has one of the largest language centers in the district, right? We have kids from all over the world coming to OU High School. Um, now, uh, Y High School uh, is uh, uh, growing again, and we have more students coming on. So um, one of the things we're excited about, too, is that although we have all these shifts in demographics, um, we had five students earn full rides to TCU this year. Five. <laughs> five students earned full rides last year. Now last year, we were tied for the most in the district. This year, we were tied again for the most in the district. Right? And so we're excited about that because why I still can produce some high quality students. You know, the hard work of the teachers and the hard work of the students, we're excited about that. And a lot of people don't realize that last year, just last year, why I was third in the district in math scores, we were second in the district for CTE coherent sequencing, and we were first in the district for dual credit uh, dual credits earned, college credits earned. So why it's really on the move? The basketball team is back. Y'all have y'all have y'all seen the basketball team? Y'all been coming to the basketball games? <laughs> Last year, <laughs> the basketball team. Basketball team's back. Um, we were one game away from state last uh, year prior. Um, we went deep, had a deep run again this past year. We're excited about that. Uh, we see we have a state uh, state finalist, uh, long jump. Um, Girls bought basketball team is in the playoffs every year. Football's in the playoffs every year. So, so because of the growth, because of what's going on, because of the positive vibe, because of all the hard work of the teachers, we're starting to see kids come back. We're not quite 1,700 yet, uh, but 
we're definitely moving in the right direction and we're excited about that and I, I, I just can't say enough about the hard work that the Alumni Association has been putting in from day one. From day one they've been right by our side trying to help us whether it is supporting the kids, uh, whether it's coming to clean up the school, they've always been by our side. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank the Alumni Association for all that they do with the Alumni Association. It's tough work, you know, that's one of the things that all the principals and all the folks that have been in Wyatt know, it, it, it is tough work. It's hard work. It's hard work and it's hard work. And so it takes a village to raise these children. And so we really appreciate the Alumni Association, each and every one of them, and that's what's going on presently in ODY. We are on the move, and we want to encourage you to come join the movement. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. It is so good to see you. And yes, I am a proud alum of Oscar Dean Wyatt High School, class of 1976. And right now I'm the avid coordinator and avid teacher at OD Wyatt, along with a lot of other duties <laughs> that I may possess and do. I am the class sponsor of a class of 2019 Hurry up, June 2nd. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Uh, we're supposed to be presenting some students that um, should be speaking, but they're not here, so I have another role right now to do. We're going to ask our dignitaries that are here today from our, on our political side to uh, stand. We have Constable Michael Campbell here today. Thank you, Constable, for coming. We have a line right here, Councilwoman Raquel Buffin Bell, class of 1987, City of Forest Hill. And we have our interim mayor for the City of Forest Hill, Ms. Clara Faulkner, also here with us. We thank you so much for giving up your time and, and uh, supporting Oscar Dean White High School. I do know, and I'm very grateful always for the City of Forest Hill and what they do. And, Ms. and the constable for allowing us to use some of your lovely shares for us when we're deputies, when we're doing things, and we appreciate that and your support. Um, it really does take a village to raise our children, and we thank you for all the things that you do. Now I'm finished, thanks. <laughs> thanks for having me, so she might be kind of upset with me right about now. But, um, but it's moving right along. Um, if the band would kind of strike us uh, music up,